Hello and welcome back to more Phoenix for Ace Attorney Justice for All, where in the last episode we went to trial for the first time in the Reunion and Turnabout case, and in this episode we're going to be continuing the trial for that same case, June 21st, 1137 a.m. District Court Defendant Lobby Number 3. Phew, that was a close one. I know you were given it your all to defend me, but I could feel the death penalty hanging in the air. I felt like I was pretty close to dying myself. But you were wonderful out there. You listened carefully, made theories, and tricked everyone into believing you. Thanks. Wait, tricked? That must be the lawyer's secret technique, right? By the way, is the next witness who I think it is? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's Lotta Hart. Oh, guess there's no escaping her, huh? Remember, Nick, you promised you'd save me! If you lose, me and my sister's ghost will come after you and haunt you! Your sister? Um, are you talking about Mystic Mia? Yeah, do you remember her, Pearly? My sister was a super good lawyer. She was also Nick's teacher. Oh, I didn't know that. June 21st, 11.43 a.m., District Court, courtroom number two. Okay, here we go. Court will now reconvene. Now the first order of- Go! Oh! I don't want to hear it, old man. After I call my witness, sit there quietly and watch like a good lawyer. Yes, sir. Bring in the photographer, photo photographer who witnessed the channeling. Well, didn't witness the channeling. She was out. She, she came in at the same time that I did. Witness, your name and occupation, if you please. Hey, Phoenix! How you doing? J just fine. <laughs> That's a lie. Sorry about this. Didn't exactly have a choice, you know? Yowza! Name and occupation. I declare, what in tarnation? Hey, Judge, this here is violence against my fair self. That's fine. That's fine? That ain't fine. That's a whip. Yeah! There's no need for foolish outcries from foolishly foolish fools. Just hurry up and testify about what happened on the day of the murder. I haven't even gotten to say my name and job yet. The name's Lotta Hart, paranormal photographer, and I'm here to testify. Now, now, let's all be one big happy family, okay? Yeah. In your dreams, Judge. Witnesses account. Only the doc and the defendant went into the channeling chamber. We were waiting outside the door, and then bang, we hear the gunshot. Mr. Lawyer then broke down the door and we rushed into the room. Inside was the dead victim, and the defendant waving a pistol around. I swear, other than those two, there was no one else in the room. Well, we know that's a well, we know that's a lie, but I, w I wouldn't expect a lot of to know that that's a lie. And did you take a picture of the scene right after the murder took place? Reckon course. Eh? Excuse me? Reckon course? It's yours for, you reckon? Of course I did. Does it look like I care? Just hurry up and show your picture to the court. The moment of truth. What will be in that picture? Um, let's see here. This here's the picture. Okay. Um. That's. That doesn't show the. F that. Number one, that doesn't show the face of the. the that, that straight up just doesn't show the face of the defendant. That, that doesn't show Maya's face. Are you ready, Mr. Phoenix Wright? I will clear all doubt about Maya through this cross-examination. Okay, well, just watch me. Did... I guess we just have to press everything. Okay. Here we go. Was it really only those two that went in? What are you blabbering about? You were there too, were you not? Uh... Why don't you answer that yourself? Was it really just the two of them? Yes. Dr. Gray and Maya were the only two that went into that room. You put the... There physically had to be somebody else there. My, there's no way Maya would have brought a knife into the room. Hold on, we can't have the defense testifying against his own client. Anyway, folks, only the two of them went into the channeling chamber, you hear? But you knew that from the very beginning, didn't you? Witness, continue. We were waiting outside the door. Oh, wait, I, didn't, I already read through this. Was it really a gunshot? Are you insane? You must have heard it as well. Uh... Why don't you testify for the court, Mr. Phoenix Wright? Was it really a gunshot? Yes, I think it was something that sounded like a gunshot. And why are we here listening to the defense testify? And the world just becomes just a little bit crueler. I heard the gunshot a long time ago, so I know. And I tell you, that was a gunshot I heard. Now, this, this is where the story heats up. So, let me get this straight. This Mr. Lawyer there broke the door down. Let me guess, Francisca's gonna say the same thing. Honestly, Mr. Phoenix Wright, why don't you tell us what happened then? Um, yes, Mr. Von Conroy, I broke down the door. 
Why does it feel like an Inquisition? No need for apologizing, that was great, you're a real man! Oh really? That's something I would like to see. The judge is smiling rather openly. I'll take that as a good sign. And what did you see once you broke in? Ace, I was a dead victim and uh, I keep doing that. Are you sure it was a defendant my FA? Sure, I'm sure. Lotta seems awfully confident and of course we press harder. Lotta, please think back that day one more time. Well, what you getting at? Remember when you said that when we broke into the room? Lotta, at a time like this, times like this is perfect for snapping up shots. But anyway, what's going on here? This gal, is she Maya? When you saw the murderer at that time, you couldn't even tell if it was Maya Faye or not, am I correct? Ah, uh, uh, well, you see... Order! Miss Hart, you are here to present accurate testimony. Yeah, sorry! Good. This shift things back to my side. For a defense lawyer, your defense is terribly lacking Mr. Phoenix Wright. Witness, think back to when those two entered the channeling chamber. When they entered? One of those people that entered with the chamber was Maya Faye, correct? Yeah, that's right! Yeah, it was Maya that went in. Hmm. It looks like we've come to a collective conclusion. The person in this picture is most certainly Maya Faye. Exactly. Rats, and I'm trapped like one. Again. I swear, other than those two, there was no one else in the room. Well, I, 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 <sighs> Are you absolutely certain of that? Sure I am, but that old witch chases out of the room, so... Old witch, does he mean Morgan Fay? But there was no one else in there, and you know it. The channeling chamber was very dark, almost pitch black. Was there really no one else in there? What about... Behind the folding screen? Is that possible? Was it... Was it isn't it right up against the wall? Where's the plug lance? There they are. I'm pretty sure it's right up against the wall. Oh, no, it's not! Oh, there is room behind the folding screen! Oh, well, in that case, behind the door, that doesn't make any sense under the flooring. Maya did something about being under the floor, didn't she? But how would you get it? Behind the folding screen makes the most logical sense, because that, because this relies on Maya, uh, something Maya told us off record, so we'll, we'll go with behind the folding screen. What about behind the folding screen? Did you check back there? Wreck given? Huh? What in the... Wreck given! You know, you reckon? That's given! I took me a good look around the room once, there ain't no way anyone was hanging out behind the folding screen. Hmm, if I may have a word with you, Miss Hart. Well, what? You got a problem? Wreck given, I mean, I, I am having a little... With you. If you would stop... Ah! Now then, Mr. Phoenix Wright, do you see a problem with the testimony, or don't you? Ah, just as I thought there was nothing wrong with her testimony. I was with her, so I know she's telling the truth. Enough! It seems that there are no issues with Miss Hart's testimony. At the time of the crime, only two people were in the channeling chamber. The victim, Dr. Turner Gray, and the defendant, Maya Faye. Hmm. The first of the defendant cannot be verified in this picture. However, if we think about the circumstances, it would have to be the defendant. What am I going to do if I just let this go? What is it, Mr. Wright? You look as if you have something to say. If I make one wrong move, I'm going to have the judge against me. Is there anything I can present the... I... There's nothing... That... Wait, does she have a mark of time on her? I can't... Get... I can't see the photo. It doesn't... I, I can't see... I... If she had her manga, if, if we could see if she had her manga time on or not, that'd be one thing. But other than that, there's nothing. We the glove, I guess. Or not the glove. The the, the clothes. Maybe can we see the blood in the clothes? Is is there blood on the right sleeve? We can, that, that's all we can see is the right sleeve. The front of it, yeah, but not behind it. That, nope. I I guess there's just nothing. Well, Mr. Wright, nothing, Your Honor. That's very smart of you, Mr. Phoenix Wright. You really should give up trying to prove this is not my FA. I didn't say anything about giving up. I just don't have the right piece of evidence to prove my argument. That's enough. I Is this it? Is this all I could do? I think it is quite obvious to this court that, is, that a verdict of not guilty is not possible. I told you. Totally. 100% impossible. Mr. Von Karma, do you have any further questions for this witness? 
had him establish the defendant's guilt. No, the questioning won't be. Did, didn't Lot, didn't Lotta take two pictures? What about the defense? Another question I presume. Didn't Lotta take two pictures? How about, can we see the second picture, please? The defense. Phoenix. Phoenix, you can't make that kind of face. A lawyer is someone who smiles, no matter how bad it gets. Mia. Oh! I guess I made it just in time, wouldn't you say? So now Pearl channeled your bo- Now Pearl channeled your spirit, huh? Her clothes are a bit small. Anyway, what are you waiting for, Phoenix? Let's go. But how? She's already taken every away every advantage. The, ad the advantage is still in your hand. Think carefully once more, ta one more time about what you saw in the channeling chamber. Do you remember what you told me yesterday? Dr. Gray! I was- and we already heard all this. You see, there was one of these this puzzle. Mia? Question Lotta one more time, Phoenix. I don't know if she's doing it unconsciously or on purpose, but she's not testifying truthfully. Now then, this court would like to end the cross-examination period. Please wait, Your Honor. The defense would like to request that the witness testify one more time. Overruled. I'm afraid you're too late, Mr. Wright. The cross-examination has already ended. Furthermore, any unrelated questions- Yeah! It's fine. I'll allow another testimony. Von Karma's case is perfect. Absolutely flawless. <coughs> and what better time than this for you to see that? But, but I mean, I have some place I must go after this. Hmm. All right, I'll allow it, Miss Hart. Hurry and give us another testimony. Well, heck, what am I supposed to talk about? Please tell us once more what happened when you burst into the channeling chamber. Okay, you got it. See, you got through to the judge somehow, right? Well, actually, it was Von Karma's whip that got through to him. I mean, she took a second photo. This, this shouldn't be too hard. When we, broke into the, when we broke into the room, all I could focus on was Maya. I was uh, kind of scared of the dead body, so I didn't take a good look at it. I'm really bad when it comes to blood and ghosts and stuff, but I still managed to point my camera at Maya and take a shot. Okay, yeah, but you took two photos. You you took two photos. Nothing sounds different from before. Some parts of her testimony were very vague. I should press her on those sections. Struggle all you like as you taste the bitterness of your defeat. Well, amuse me with your useless questions, Mr. Phoenix Wright. I'm waiting. Like, she... she... Told, she she snapped her photo. She she snapped her camera twice. Two right. Two what? Two shots. You took two shots, but only one has been submitted as evidence. Miss Hart, where is the other picture you have been withholding? No no no! You got it all wrong. It's not me. I didn't mean anything bad. I know I can be a little mean, but I ain't evil. Well, at least she knows herself. Then why have you not shown this other picture to the court yet? Well, ain't an obvious that prosecuted woman to all. Oh, dang, get exposed, Francisca von Karma. Once again, you, your own witness has chewed you out to the court. You really gotta work on that. Well, what? V von Karma. Miss von Karma, you, you're hiding critical evidence. Unforgivable von Karma. Suppressing evidence like this. You're as bad as you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it to the judge. Oh, I'm so mad that even to my clothes even my throat's going I better let the judge handle this. Miss von Karma, would you care to explain yourself to this court? I thought this picture was not important, and thus felt no need to submit it. That's all. How could you think the pictures were more or less the same, so I bought them with the second. Yeah, but if the second one shows the victim's face, that's kind of an important distinction. It may not, but guess what? If there's even a chance that it does, that's a pretty big difference. In fact, I guarantee you that's it, and I guarantee you that's why she didn't submit it, because she knows it shows the victim's face, so she knows it would completely undo her case. That rhymed. I didn't intend it to. I mean, it's just so much more trouble than it's worth for me to submit this as evidence. M more trouble than it's worth? How, how can you say that? If you want to see it that badly, I'll submit it. Picture taken with the murder scene. Ha! Ah! Oh, we got you! Oh, that's not Maya. No, no, that is not Maya. Not even a little bit, buddy. That is not Maya. What is, what is this picture? It's obviously the second picture the witness took that day at the crime scene, and it is not Maya. Um, I think the important point, I think the important point here is the person in this picture. This is most definitely not Maya Faye. Ha ha ha! Gotcha. Oh, you 
fool. Why would you have submitted that photo? Like, actually, why would you have done that? This might be the break I was looking for. Now, should I or should I not insist that the person in this picture is not Maya? Insist it's not Maya. Your Honor, as you can plainly see, the person in this picture is not Maya Faye. You yes, I see that. It's not just her face, her whole body is taking on a different appearance. There is only one conclusion that can be drawn, then. That somehow, this other person snuck in and traded to place it with the defendant. Order! Order! Well, yes, I believe you are correct, Mr. Wright. The person who was inside the channeling chamber was not Maya Faye. Mia, we did it! You're too soft. Huh? You're softer than Aunt, than Aunt Morgan's strawberry desserts, Phoenix. Take a look at Prosecutor Von Karma's face. She's smiling. I think you had better continue to worry, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Miss Von Karma, what do you mean by that? Your Honor, I would like for you to take a look at this picture. Um... What? Okay, number one, actually, how were you there? Like, actually, how were you there? How- how did you get- hold it, no, 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 no. No, 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 Number one, how did you get into the visitor's room without anybody stopping you? Number two, how did you take a picture without me hearing you? Number three, how did you take a picture without my you? You're right there! You're right there! The glass is right there! You're right in front of the glass! How did- does Mia have zero peripheral vision? How did- did- what? This is Mr. Phoenix writing the defendant, Maya Faye, during his visit. Maya Faye? But- isn't this a totally different person? She looks this way because she is obviously in the middle of channeling a spirit. Okay, okay, okay. So you're gonna make the claim that yes, that's Maya face body, but it's a, it's a channeled spirit that's still not. See, that's the thing. That's such a gray area. Because yeah, okay, sure, it's it's Maya's body, sure, but it's not her mind, and it's technically like the in the external appearance of somebody else. I. This is such a gray area. This is such a gray area. Yet, it is the truth. When Maya Faye is in that state, she physically changes into the person she's calling. Miss Von Karma, a word if I may. Mia, taking pictures of someone during a private visit is illegal. Sure. The first place. What is she? From the moment I showed this picture to the court, this case became all mine. After all, this image has now been forever burned into the judge's mind. I, right. I don't even have a single witty line. It looks like we've been had. We've been had. I don't claim to understand this, and I still cannot believe it. Are you saying that this person, this person, is the defendant, Maya Fay? If I give up here, the trial will end. I mean, yes, because it, it's physically not her. I mean, okay, it, it, yeah, it, it is her because you know. It's, spirit channeling, whatever, but, and the, the clothes of the, actually are the clothes the same, the blood looks, the blood does look a little different, here, let me look at the clothing again, the blood does look a little bit different than it did previously, no, I just, because the, there are, uh, there is blood on both sides of the, oh, the, the hole, the stupid, the hole, the hole, there's no, there's no hole, there's no hole here, there's no hole, there's no hole, it's someone different, it, it, it's not, it, it's someone completely different. Your Honor. Oh, the fire has returned to your eyes, I see. This picture. Within this picture lies a critical contradiction to all the testimony up until now. A contradiction? So, you think you've spotted a problem with this picture? Then earn your keep. Why don't you point out exactly what is so strange about- Okay, it's, there's no hole. There's no hole here. The contradiction lies here. You don't sound very sure of yourself, Mr. Wright. Excuse me, but can you really tell me how much confidence I have in this? Hmm. What is with that attitude? Ow, that hurt! Didn't we just discuss, then discussing that our appearance changes during channeling? There's limits over there, Mr. Wright, and that includes patient. What? There's no hole! There's no hole! Even Maya's mad at me now. I have to focus. There's no hole! What do you mean? There's no hole! He's already dead! He's not gonna rise up from the dead like a zombie, grab the gun, and then make the hole with the gun! That's not how that works! There should be a hole here! There should be a hole there! Oh, now- Oh! Oh, now the game takes my input! Oh, now the game takes the input! Oh, how convenient! How convenient! But there wasn't anything on about it. 
and that is exactly what is so odd. Something that should be there is suddenly missing. Should be there. Ah! There was a bullet hole in the sleeve of the defendant's costume. If that's the case, then it should be in this picture as well. Miss Von Karma, you... You intended to hide this valuable piece of evidence? You will most certainly be assigned a penalty for this. Alright, this should do some major damage to our argument. Don't celebrate yet. You like to bring down the mood, don't you? Take a look at Miss Von Karma's face. Ah, oh, she's got that condescending grin plastered all over her face again. Tisk, tisk. Jumping the gun again, I see. Your Honor, I would like to extend an apology on behalf of those incompetent fools. Oh, shut up! What do you mean? And what incompetent fools? If those fools down at the precinct hadn't missed the bullet hole, I would have gotten a report about it. As I didn't, I could not have known that this picture was of any value to the case. Hmm, I see. She's lying through her teeth, I know it. That woman knew about everything. The bullet hole, the picture, everything. But you can't prove that. Francisca von Karma's idea of a perfect case is quite fascinating, don't you think? Your Honor, you need not worry. If you must assign a penalty, I'll personally make sure that the detective gets what's coming. I'm sure there will be a great gnashing of teeth at his next Saturday discussion. Poor gumshoe. Or not, in any case, this is a very big problem. When the defendant was taken into custody, her costume had a bullet hole in its sleeve. However, from this photo, it would appear that right after the shooting, there was none. The judge is confused by the strange twist of events. This is your chance, Phoenix. Load all you've got into this one shot, alright? Got it. Watch this, Maya. Your Honor. There is one in Long Lodge Lesson for the contradiction. So the shooter is someone else. The defendant's sleeve has a bullet hole in it. However, this person's clearly does not. There can only be one explanation. The person who shot Dr. Groot is not the defendant, but a different person altogether. Order, order, order. If order is not restored, I will suspend this trial. Oh, Francisca Von Karma's mad. The defense's argument is a complete mess. A complete mess? I fail to see how. Please enlighten us. Hey, witness. What the, what the heck? Is that any way to ask Gal a favor? Be quiet, you. You were the one who said it was only the two of them when you entered the room. Well, you know, if you were lying, I swear that my whip would be the last thing you see. Well, look, sis, you, you're looking mad scary, so why don't we save you? What? I swear, I wasn't lying or nothing. There wasn't anyone else in there, honest. You see? Now riddle me this, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Where did the defendant vanish to? And where did this other woman appear from? Um, why is it Lily all I want to do is cry? Well, if the person that's in this picture is not the defendant, then this poses two very big questions. First, where did this defendant vanish to? And second, where did this person come from? That's right. Now hurry up and answer Mr. Phoenix Wright. Come on, you can't fall apart here, Phoenix Wright. I can't believe that even me is calling me by full name. But, I mean, how am I supposed to prove something like this? Had enough yet, Mr. Phoenix Wright? Or do you think you have enough in you to turn things around even now? To turn things around? That's right. Mia would always turn things around and change her perspective. Phoenix? So, where did this intruder appear from and where did Maya disappear to? Let me look at this situation from a different angle. Let's see. What if, before we broke in, the third person- Yeah, that's what I said! That's what I said! What if Maya had left that room somehow? I prove that either one of those conditions were true. Well, I can't prove that someone else is already in the room. Can I prove that she left? Oh, the key! Oh, she, she had the key, right? She she had, she had the key to leave. I think we, what happened before we forced away in the channeling chamber is... That Maya left the room. Yeah, we can prove that. Maya left the channeling chamber at some point. Yeah, because isn't there also... Oh, yeah, there's only supposed to be one key. And yet Pearl had it. And the defense can prove this. Oh. And yet, when she was taken into custody, she... So, she's taken into custody, which means she was still have the key on her, and yet, Pearl still had another copy of the key. So, there were two keys. There were two keys. The defendant locked herself, herself locked the door? Yeah, that's why we all couldn't get the door open. That key's the only key, That key's the only one of its kind, after all. Oh, one of a kind, you say? No, it's not. Wait, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Yes, it looks like she's catching on. I'm afraid to ask, but why isn't that key currently in your possession? Huh, huh? What do you mean? If Maya Fey locked herself in, then the key should have been with her. Yes, agreed. However, she did not have the key at the time of her arrest. Ah, well, ain't that a kick? So how come you're holding it? 
I got this as a present from a certain little girl. And that little girl was nowhere near the crime scene at the time. Th that's preposterous. This means that Maya Faye must have left the room. If she had not, then I would not be holding this key you see before you. No! It seems we have come to an impasse. This picture has clearly captured the face of the murderer. However, is this person the defendant or not? The defense is arguing that the person is not the defendant. Furthermore, as proof, this key has been submitted as evidence. Miss Von Karma. How can this be? At this point in time, a verdict on the defendant's guilt is not possible. My perfect case. How is there a flaw in my perfect case? Don't you think, don't think, don't think you've won yet, Mr. Phoenix Wright. I am a prodigy. I have never lost a case. Yeah, well, neither had Edgeworth, and neither had Mon Von Karma. You're next on the chopping block. And I don't intend to lose here in this courtroom to a fool like you. I don't care what I have to do. I will get my guilty verdict. That's enough. If you would like to continue, do so in the lobby. Court will reconvene tomorrow at 10 o'clock a.m. That is all. Court is adjourned. Okay, that was fun. June 21st, 1.32 p.m. District Court Defendant Lobby Number 3. Wow! That was you, Pearly? You summoned my sis? Yes, I found I had no choice. Great going, Pearly! I knew you were special. Hey, Nick, did you know? Um, yeah. It's not like anyone else in there could have done that. Hmm, Nick, I know you're trying really hard and all, but I really don't remember ever leaving that room. And I don't think that the third person could have gone into that room. Yeah. Well, at least we have until tomorrow to figure things out. Like, what happened in that room, for instance. Yeah, I'm counting on you. Ah, I envy the two of you. Oh, by the way, Nick, do you think you could take Pearly back home for me? Sure. Alright, Pearls. Ready to go buy some tickets? Huh? A ticket? Poor thing, so sheltered. To be continued. Okay. Music? Music? Okay, I'll admit it. It's growing on me a little bit. Okay, so this case is this case, this case is actually pretty good. I must admit, obviously, obviously not on the same tier as Turn About Goodbyes or Rise from the Ashes or anything like that. Those those will forever be the top two. I mean, I the, the so, a case would have to be above and beyond to top those two because those two were so good. Th this isn't a bad case, obviously. It's a it's a pretty good case so far. I must admit, I'm very surprised with how this has taken a turn because the first case was awful. So I'm I'm happy that I'm happy to see that this one is actually pretty good, so far at least it could take a turn toward the end I don't know but so far it's a pretty good case so I'm I'm happy about that, um, so yeah I'm just curious to see how things are gonna turn out in the future I'm assuming that Emi Miney will come into play in the next investigation but that's it for this episode so thanks for watching see you for the next time I hope to catch you all later today for some more Phoenix Radio's Attorney Justice for All goodbye. <laughs>